Hi, welcome to the Euclidean Geometry 101 course. This is part 3 of the series. We are still in the chapter about angles and in this part we will continue with defining properties of angles. In the previous lesson we have defined a few types of angles. We will talk about two other types of angles but to do that we will have to define a few operations that can be done with angles similar to what we have defined for line segments. First of all, we define the equality of angles. Two angles are equal when we can make the vertex and the legs coincide with each other. In the figure, B'A' prime can be placed on BA and B prime C prime can be placed on BC. But as we do not consider the directionality of the angle, we can also place B prime C prime on BA and B prime A prime on BC. We can add angles together. This is done by making them adjacent angles. Take for instance two angles ABC and CB prime D. By moving C B prime D and having B prime coincide with B and make also one of the legs coincide, we get an angle ABD that's the sum of the two. Lastly, we say that an angle ABD is bigger than ABC if the first one is equal to the sum of this angle and another angle. That other angle, in this example CBD, is the difference. We can of course also multiply angles with an integer and we can also divide angles. A special division of an angle is the one that divides the angle in two equal angles. The line that divides that angle is called the bisector of the angle. By the same reasoning we followed while proving proposition 1, we can also prove that the bisector can always be constructed and that there's only one for each angle. Now that we have defined the sum of angles, we can introduce two types of angles. What we are seeing here are two supplementary angles. We call two angles supplements of each other when the sum of the two angles is equal to two right angles. We can also define complementary angles. As you can see in the drawing, that's when the sum of the two angles is equal to a right angle. We are now ready for proposition number two. If the outer legs of two adjacent angles are in line with each other, then the angles formed are each other's supplement. Let's prove this. Take angle AOC and angle AOB. Their outer legs OC and OB are in line with each other. Now construct a perpendicular in O on BC. We have that the angle AOC equals the angle COD plus the angle DOA and also that the angle AOB is the difference of the angle DOB and DOA. Now let's take the sum of both sides of the equation. We get that the angle AOC plus the angle AOB equals the angle COD plus the angle DOB. But COD and DOB are right angles, so the sum is two right angles. And with that we have proven the proposition. The converse of the proposition is also valid. If two angles are each other's supplement, then the outer legs are in line with each other. Let's prove this. So we know that the sum of the angle AOC and the angle AOB is equal to two right angles. We need now to prove that OB and OC are in line with each other. Let's use the technique of a proof by contradiction. We assume that OB is not in line with OC and let's call OB prime 
the rate that is in line with OC. Two equalities are now clearly valid. The first one, the sum of angle AOC and angle AOB is equal to two right angles, because that's what's given. The second one, by applying the direct proposition we can say that the sum of AOC and AOB prime is equal to two right angles. Let's now subtract the two sides of the equation. By subtracting, we can conclude that angle AOB must be equal to angle AOB prime. So that means that OB coincides with OB prime or that OB is in line with OC. There are some corollaries to this proposition. First of all, if one of the angles that are in line with each other is a right angle, the other will also be a right angle. So, a right angle is equal to its supplement. Secondly, the sum of all adjacent angles on one side of a line is equal to a straight angle. Thirdly, the sum of all consecutive angles around the same point is equal to four right angles or a full angle. Let's show this on an example. We start with angles AOB, BOC, COD and DOA. We need to prove that their sum is four right angles. Let's extend AO with O a prime. We now have that the sum of the four angles is equal to the sum of all the angles on one side of a a prime and the sum of all the angles on the other side of a a prime, as you can see in this complicated formula. And since the sum of all adjacent angles on one side of a line is equal to a straight angle, as we have seen in corollary 2, we have that all the angles on one side of AA prime have a sum of two right angles, and all the angles on the other side of AA prime have a sum also of two right angles. And so we can conclude that the sum of all the angles around a vertex is four right angles, or a full angle. We have done this for four angles around the vertex, we can do this for any number of angles around the vertex. When three or more straight lines pass through the same vertex, they are called concurrent lines. Fourth corollary, the supplement of an acute angle is obtuse, and conversely, the supplement of an obtuse angle is acute. We will finish the lesson of today with an observation regarding perpendicularity. Perpendicularity is symmetric, which means that if a first straight line is perpendicular to a second straight line, the second straight line is also perpendicular to the first. That's it for the third lesson. Next time we will wrap up this chapter about angles. If you like this series, consider subscribing to my channel.